I created this Google Sheet to analyze the past five years data on a Google Trends chart. And what I'm going to do is show you the final result, for instance, of analyzing the term jackets for the past five years. And then I'll also show you uh, how to actually do this for another search term. It's actually easy, quick and easy process. Um, I actually released um, this in Excel years ago. Uh, and hadn't updated it and so this is now a Google sheet which means you can use it even on your Google account you don't have to actually have Excel installed and um, basically what it does is it breaks down by month so you can see here the yearly and monthly averages that it has broken down from the Google Trends data year by year month by month and um, it also has the minimum and the maximum so for instance, looking at 2021, you can see that the average was 45 and the minimum was 25, the max is 83. And then down at the bottom, actually I should stay up here, we have the overall average, the minimum and the maximum. And then down here, what it's doing at the bottom, these deviations, it's giving you an idea of how each month compares to the overall performance for the five years. So basically, um, January being having an average, uh, when you take January's averages together, being 14% higher than the overall average lets you know that generally jackets were more popular in January on Google, for instance. And then also we see October, November, and December as well. Um, November having the highest percentage. So you could uh, conclude that November is generally the most popular month for the search term jackets. So that's basically the concept of how to interpret this. I'm not getting into a lot of analysis here. I just want to show you the process of doing this. Now, basically, all you do is you enter a search term. I'll do another one. Actually, what I'll do is I'll start um, off with the original copy. So here's the original copy that you'll get through a link in this video. Once you get the original copy, all you have to do is go to File, Make a Copy, because it is a view-only file. Otherwise, you would be modifying my original. So you'll go to File, Make a Copy. Click on Make a Copy. That creates a copy of the original. Okay, now just wait for this copy to come through. Now, what you do is you go over to Google Trends and you just enter a search term. I'll do, um, I mean, it can really just be anything. I'll just put in hats just to do something quick and simple. And make sure this is on past five years because this is designed as of now to analyze the past five years. I'm considering making other sheets for uh, other time periods because there are other uh, time periods you might want to analyze. But right now, this is what's available past five years. So um, all you do now is download over here. This button downloads the Google Trends data to a CSV. And you know when you point on the chart, by the way, you do see these different numbers. So these are the numbers that are actually getting downloaded along with the dates that go with them. So those have been downloaded. Now I'll go over to the Google Trends Analyzer sheet. And you shouldn't modify anything anything on the Trends Analyzer sheet. So here's actually the copy I just made. So you don't analyze anything over here. You go to the Import Sheet. All right. And you go to File, Import, Upload browse and you just select the file i downloaded a few of these this is the last one i just downloaded it's generally going to be named multi-timeline you just click open wait for it when this shows up select replace it's very important that you select replace current sheet import data and that will bring that google trends data right into the sheet as long as the search term has significant um search volume then you will get you should get this format of dates and actual numbers and it should be analyzed right away by the trends analyzer because there's a formula that pulls the data into the sheet another one that extracts the months and years and then these formulas that do the calculations um and then there's also a chart at the bottom to give you an idea of how each month compares to the other overall 
Okay, I believe these these are all based on. Um, yes, I did this based on the averages, uh, the monthly averages, overall average of each month. And so that's it. I mean, that's the process. So if you want a copy of this, just go ahead, find the link in the description of this video, and perhaps I'll have some more videos. Um, I did some in the past demonstrating um, using this and talking about analyzing uh, search terms. So perhaps I might have some of those as well. So just go ahead and download a copy of this. And then um, I've got contact information below, or you can leave comments, questions, and suggestions as well on the video. And that's about it, Mr. Mark. And I look forward to either hearing from you or seeing you around on the, on the channel.